Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's 6pm content. If this is on YouTube, you know that we've got something decent today. If not, then hey everyone on Twitch, make sure you hit the follow button if you want to see daily streams. But if it did make its way to YouTube, that means this is going to be a sick one. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe as well. We've got a few seconds left. Obviously today, we are getting a... Uh, we are getting a new team of the week. We're getting a new silver stars. We are expecting to get some uh, Nice, uh, maybe a headliners SBC that would be really nice as well But it is now six o'clock. So let's have a look what we have actually got. Oh My there's a new showdown Luis Moriel Now if this card plays anything at all, like his road to the final, was it, last year? This is going to be an unreal card. Uh, double four star, pace is great, shooting is <coughs> fantastic. Long passing is dreadful, absolutely dreadful. That's a bit of a yikes. So he'd probably be better as a lone striker rather than a two striker where you're pinging the ball between the two. But uh, Dribbling stats, really good. Physical stats, decent. Good stamina, decent strength. Flare trait as well. That looks like a sick card. An absolutely fantastic striker card to add to the Serie A's uh, already existing uh, decent players that we've got in there. And then the one that he's against is Showdown Darmian. Three star, five star, medium high work rate, six foot tall, 91 pace. Good passing stats, good dribbling stats, good defending stats, great stamina. Strength is a, maybe a tiny bit low, but that looks like a decent card. The Serie A right backs. Let's, let's quickly have a little look on Footbin. I mean, this is a massive... Uh, they're big upgrades for both of these cards, but let's quickly look on Footbin at the right back and right wing backs for Serie A. You've got... Dumfries wants to watch. Quadrado. Florenzi's Winter Wild cards. That's about it. <coughs> so, really, really good to get another one. <coughs> Hyperlink to Barella. Hyperlink to Bastoni. Absolutely monstrous links right there. Now, let's look at the upgrade itself before we look at the prices of these. Damian has gone uh, up. 9 ratings, 21 pace, 5 shooting, 11 passing, 8 dribbling, 8 defending, and 16 physical. What a monstrous upgrade that is for him. Suddenly makes him an incredibly viable card. If you have got, like, uh, Politano's card, that's a great strong link if you're starting in a 4-5-1, something along those lines. That is huge. That's, that's really, really good. Muriel. Has gone from an 82 to an 87. Five upgrade. Three pace, which is already very high, obviously. Four shooting, six passing, five dribbling, five defending, ten physical. Obviously not quite as big an upgrade as Darmian, but he did start as a significantly better player. And again, this card still looks very, very good. Double four star. Let's just for the sake of things show you him with a hunter. Absolutely cracked stats right there. Uh, again, long passing is pretty much the only stat on this card that lets it down. So, yeah, two very, very good cards there. Let's have a little look at their prices as my controller runs out of battery. That is great timing. First up, Mr. Darmian. They both require two squads. Darmian is an 82 with a team of the week and an 86 with a team of the week. So, if I'm correct, it's less than 100k, somewhere around the 80k mark in my head. I'm, I'm thinking that this one is 60k, but I might be thinking of an 85. So, let's quickly check on someone like Torres. Torres must have an 86, right? Oh. Okay, 86 rated squads have gone up significantly. That's over 100k. Wow, so an 86 rated squad with an inform is 125k. H2 with a team of the week is not that much. 
you're looking at nearly 150k for Darmian here. That's that's a lot. And that price isn't going to change in the three days that he's out. Muriel requires exactly the same. So about 300k combined for the two of them. Yeesh. That's... Uh... I can understand that price for Muriel. It seems high for a right back. That, oh, although he just he gets such good links to like Barella. I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to complete him for that. Now, let's look at the Silver Stars. We've got Modest. Okay. So, double three star, six foot two, medium low. That's back to back Bundesliga. Silver Stars. Because previously we had the... Whatever the other headline this guy was. The centre-back from... God, I can't remember the team. Um, it's like a, a sort of ellipse-shaped badge. Black badge. Can't remember. Uh, but yeah, so Cologne for Modest. Another Frenchman as well. To go along with Diallo and... Is it Intake? Is that his name? This French striker that everyone uses as a centre mid from Vallecano. So, this could be a similar scenario, to be honest. Pace is average. Freiburg, that's who I was thinking of, but I wasn't sure if that was right. Shooting stats are good. Long pass is not great. Short is decent. Dribbling, he might feel like a bit of a lump. 94 jumping, 99 heading accuracy is insane. Stamina, 64. That's a problem. 95 strength is good. Yeah, that's stamina, the long pass, the balance, the agility, the height, medium low work rates. It doesn't look incredible. I won't lie. I really won't lie. And then the last thing that we've got to actually, very quickly before we check the team of the week, did we get any other live SBCs to go along with these guys? Let any upgrades or anything like that. Is that new, the draft token pack? I don't think so. I think that came out yesterday. Mid icon, headline is set. Abamyang. No, doesn't look like it. So let's look at the team of the week and see who we have got this time around. So view that squad and let's go. We always go this way first to try and make it a little bit more interesting. Song Wenji, Danny Escriche, and Dai. Where are you from? Just Tepe, okay. Uh, Lincoln, who you could have chosen from level 15 or level 30, one of those two before. Uh, Armour gets himself an inform. Caprari, interesting card. Big Chengo, ex Leicester legend. I liked you, Chengo. I would have kept you, but uh, screw the club. <laughs> He's got an 84 inform. It's better than any right wing we've had on FIFA since Riyadh. Bring him back. Bring him back. Uh, a jerk up front. Puertas. Hector Bellerin. Who, did he already get a card this year? Can't remember. 82 rated in form though. Not bad. Uh, Realm, left wing back. Decent little card, to be fair. That's not too shabby. Over at Hoffenheim. Benitez gets an in form. Aitor. Another Spanish in form. Sure. Uh, Elena, a right wing back card. 83 rated, looks okay. Marquinhos, big boy. 89 rated in form. Gonna cost a lot. Obviously, he's already got his road to the final as well. Now, a hyperlink. Another one. Bastoni gets another in form to this new Darmian. So, even better. Barella, Bastoni, Darmian, Triangle. That's insane now. Because Bastoni is a rock in game. He plays very, very well. So, even better for him. Theo Hernandez gets himself another in form. Yes, another one that's probably going to cost quite a bit. Hey, Zeus Navas. Jude Bellingham gets an 84 rated in form. Following in from his early days one, where they didn't give him future team of the week. Chumeni. Interesting. Okay, I wonder if he's going to make a return in people's teams now that he's got a second in form. Milly Savic. No one cares. He's got his, what, winter wildcards, whichever one it was. 
which is much better than this card. Uh, agility and balance, the pace, way better on that one. Uh, this is a B-Tech version. Berardi gets an inform. We've got Andre Silva and then Ayaza Bal to end it off. So the question is, who are you most interested in? And will you do either Muriel or Damian? <laughs> 